bit frustrating though, clearly, especially when you've got to get your chalk out from underneath the camera when it's feet or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Recovered it well there though, in the end. Um, mm. So it seemed to me that there was a bit of frustration at times. Obviously, we showed you doing this rest shot at the end there. Probably wouldn't have played it in live play, probably got the spider out. We're going to see it again, which is raised there. Um, it looked like to me there were a bit of frustrations, but you kind of played yourself out of them. That, that frame, you still won the frame of that visit. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm quite good at that now. We mm. used to get really frustrated and it would carry on for like shot after shot and m maybe month after month, yeah. whereas now <laughs> I can get frustrated and I know, I know I had to put it to the back of my mind yeah. and get on with it, get in with, uh, with the game now. So, um, you know, it's good to get a bit of frustration now. It shows you care. Yeah, exactly, and that's the thing, you know, it, it does help sometimes, it means you're in the match, doesn't it? Uh, we're going to go up to frame five now, this was after the interval, when you're going well here. Um, I, I mean, thought if you I was, might if play I was down confident, the I would have just put that in the end, but yeah. I was like, it was straight, and I just thought, oh, this could go anywhere. So I thought I'd just, yeah. uh, I, thought I, that. I bailed out. <laughs> this was a good shot, though, I mean, you give this a bit extra, because you're checking it, and you come yeah. right in behind the yellow. Yeah, that, that was all right, it kind of, you know, it was um, kind of too, too much side, really, but it was all right, and got the yellow good and 26. You know, the black. I thought the black was missable the way I was kind of like, I wasn't <laughs> seeing it so well. I know it looks quite easy on there, but it was, I just thought, Ugh. if you're not seeing that well, half a pocket can be tricky, but I was happy it went in. Yeah, I think you're putting Stuart out of his misery now, and I think, Ronnie, you, you know what I meant by that, because he's 4-0 down, he's missed four chances that mm. frame. He doesn't want to lose, but he's thinking, I need to get out the door here, and you've helped him in a way. You've, you've cleaned up there to 5-0, mm. and you just sense He's, he's thinking about the journey. Yeah, I just home. think Stuart didn't have a good day today, but yeah. you know, like you see in the match this afternoon, you know, you can be four or five frames up these days, but the, the guys now are capable of winning four or five yeah. frames on the trot, so it's never over until it's over. And um, you, you just got to keep, you know, foot to the pedal the whole way, really. Yeah, I think that it would have been a bit of a shame, Rob, if the game would have dragged on because at 5 0, I know this afternoon went, as, as Ronnie says, the way it did. But Stuart just wasn't, he wasn't going to come back and win 6-5. It was never going to happen, you know, as someone who's just sitting there watching the game. And then in frame six, you just finished him off. You got on the black to get to yellow. And it's just a question here. You're perfect here, aren't you? Just playing yeah. off for yellow. Green's the only ball you've got to get on. And then all of a sudden, it's handshake time. Yeah, yeah yellow's green was the tricky issue yeah. here, but I got him OK. I didn't, you know, I wasn't seeing that great. So the green, again, I was 50. struggling to see this potting angle, but I just thought, you know, just to commit to it, you know. It didn't look like it, I must admit, it didn't look like you were struggling that much for that, but I suppose once you get where you tried to get, which was just shy of the blue on this and you can reach it, then it is all over, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, I just needed to get on the brown. I wasn't sure I hit this well enough to get on the brown, I thought I was going to leave myself like, like in the middle of the table here, but I, luckily it sort of ran on a bit. And that's but the end of that. This was match ball. 6 0, Stuart probably thinking about he's got to play Alan McManus thinking next week in Thailand. To Thailand. Yeah, where he plays Alan. <laughs> <laughs> and look, stats don't mean much, Ronnie, we know that, but you're 95% pot success tonight, which means you've had a good night, you've not missed many. Stuart's 75, so that's why the scoreline is 6 0. There's no comparison on the night. Yeah, um, I don't, you know, I, I seem to, you know, my, my average is quite high there. It didn't yeah. feel like it when I was playing out there, but um, I'm quite competitive, so I try, I try and raise my game as much as I can and get myself as, mu as much out of each match as I can. Uh, you mentioned earlier on that, that incredible comeback by Judd Trump. How much of that match were you able to see in, in your preparations for tonight? I watched uh, a couple of the early frames and then I watched I watched it from 5-2 or 5, yeah, something around that. And uh, it was a good match. Were really? you surprised at the manner of Judd's comeback? Or? No, because, you know, Selby, yes, we all know Selby does it on a regular basis. We all know that Judd's that type of player that when he goes behind, you know, he kind of loosens up a bit and starts going for his shots. And, you know, it can be hard, you know, once he gets on a run, it can be, you, you know, you can't stop him. You just have to kind of bide your time, be patient. And hopefully, you know, um, he tightens up a bit and kind of lets you in. Now, it's the final that many neutrals wanted to see. Cracking contest in the Champion of Champions. You came out on top. Amazing final at the UK Championship. It's going to be an absolute cracker tomorrow, isn't it? Well, I hope so. I hope I can kind of um, perform well enough to, to give him a game and, you know, we can both sort of like produce some good stuff because, you know, it's a, it's a great event and it deserves to have a great final. Uh, you've got a lot of respect for Judd. I know you spoke very highly of his contribution to both of those finals. Are we seeing the emergence of a, of a really intriguing rivalry? Because great sport demands great rivals <laughs> on know. the table, of course. <laughs> and, and it just seems as though three massive finals, 
you know, the two same guys in each, I think, it's I think something's Ralph, happening. Rather is, it, rather is a kind of done over a 10 year period, you know, Judd's only 25, I'm 39, you know, I can't see me kind of rivaling anyone for much longer, you know, um, so, you know, maybe this year, maybe another year, a couple of years, so I don't see a rivalry going on, I just see that, you know, I'm playing okay and he's playing well and, you know, while it's going on, yeah. it's good fun, but I think more rival for Judd would be someone like Ding, I think, in a way. Possibly. Or Luca, or Luca, or someone. Yeah, in the future. But I mean, these are the. the I'm big... old enough to be their dads now. Yeah, but that's what. <laughs> it's but you still, but you've still got it. They'll fill up my sons. But you've yeah. still got it, as you proved out there tonight. Yeah, no, no. Well, obviously, I'll, I'll keep going until I keep, you know, while you keep getting results. But you know, um, you know, it's only so long you can keep going. I suppose you know, it's like you can't beat youth and that. And uh, but you know, I'll just keep going with my experience and my kind of tenacity to want to win and my competitiveness and. You know, I try and sort of carve out a few results, even if I'm not playing well, I can still dig in. Point is, these are big UK-based tournaments now. We had the Champion of Champions, which I know you like that tournament. You won it yeah. twice. Mm. Uh, you know, the UK Championship as well. Here we are again, another big UK-based new tournament. You know, you're mm. keen to do it. It was only the Masters that you and Judd missed out on. Mm. There's, there is definitely a trend that these two, probably just about the best two players around at the moment in UK, where a lot of the players from the, that part of the world think that these are the most important ones of all, more so than the Asian events, perhaps. Well, it is going to be a cracking contest. What's the plan now? Back to Liverpool, or, or are you staying here on the coast and giving no. yourself a short walk to the stadium tomorrow? No, I'll be staying here, staying here tonight. Yeah, little run in the morning, maybe. See how I feel. I mean, I, yeah, if I can get a good night's clip, then um, I'll try and get up and get a bit of a run in and a bit of breakfast. And what time does it start tomorrow? One and seven. One and seven. Yeah, One so and seven. That's a nice time. Yeah, well, I look got, forward to it. Got time for a little jog, a little bit of breakfast and a walk along for the start. A little, little trifle in between. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks very much, Ronnie. Good luck tomorrow. We know it's going to be an absolutely brilliant, brilliant contest. So we've just seen the Rocket book his place in the final and you've heard us talk about Judd Trump and his epic match against Martin Gould. We go.